WJZ 13, Baltimore's news station. It's Academic is recommended as an educational and informational program for children. Team from Martha Sales. Centennial. And Lock Raven meet today in a playoff match on It's Academic. Hello, I'm Mac McGarry, who's the opening round. Each team begins with 100 points, 10 up for a right answer, but 10 off for a wrong answer. In this round, the contestants here in the studio don't see the writing on their screens. So you do at home. We'll try to show, slow them down just a little bit. The whose light is on first has a chance to answer. Royalty goes to the dogs. Not all dogs live simple lives in backyard dog houses. Some are pampered pets of royalty. Let's see what you know about some of these royal dogs. Number one. Greyhounds were constant companions of this Prussian king called the Great. <laughs> Your answer. Frederick. Frederick is right. Queen Victoria had a spaniel name for this Trojan warrior slain by Achilles. <laughs> Centennial. Hector. Hector is right. I don't know if they can hear you, but I hear you. So Hector is right. Another type of spaniel is named for this Sp English king beheaded by right, Montesquieu. Charles. Prince Charles. Charles is right. Yes. Kaiser Wilhelm II. Yes. King Charles. Well, King Charles? Well, all right, so what are you saying? No. No, all right. Well, it had to be the King Charles Spaniel. I'm sorry. Kaiser Wilhelm II kept a lot of these sausage-shaped dogs. Not to sales. Dachshund. Dachshund is right. Henry VIII gave several dogs to his fourth wife, this lady from Cleves. Centennial. Anne. Anne of Cleves is right. King Juan Carlos of Spain has these retrievers named for a region of Canada. Not to sales. Labrador. Labrador, yes. Little pugs were the favorite of this empress, Napoleon's first wife. Lock Raven. Josephine. Josephine, yes. Britain's Prince Charles had a favorite terrier named for this A.A. A. Milne bear. Centennial. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh is right. The Romanov Tsars favored this breed of Russian hound. Not to say. The boarhound? Um, say it again. Boarhound? No, it's borzoi or wolfhound, so ten down. Welsh corgis are the favorite dogs of this current British queen. Elizabeth 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 is right, and there's the opening round of its academic. <laughs> it's academic with Mac McGarry. It's academic. Brought to you by Giant Food. Giant, fresh ideas, great values. That's Giant. Thank you, ladies. And Thank by you, Comcast. Brother. Connecting people to what's important in their lives. Thank you and welcome to another playoff match on this academic. Each of our teams has already won one game. Today's winner goes to the semifinal. Just for a technical note, I was not able to hear these young people in that first round in my earphone, so yell it out uh, when we have the answers. Our winner number one is the team from Catons, is from Catonsville, Mount DeSales. It's Mount, I know it's Mount DeSales. Mount DeSales is in Catonsville. And here's Claire Coakley. Claire? Hi, I'm Claire Coakley. I'm a 17-year-old senior at Mount DeSales. I'm a member of many clubs, and I'm also the treasurer of the It's Academic team, a member of the National Honor Society and the Varsity Slim teams. And I'd like to thank our family and, family and friends for coming out and supporting us today and throughout the year. Thank you very much, Claire. And next for Mount DeSales, Angela Croto. Hi, I'm Angela. I'm an 18-year-old senior at Mount DeSales. Along with being the vice president of the It's Academic team, I'm also a member of the Varsity Softball team and the Championship Varsity Indoor Track team. I also took participate in the Academy Club, the National Honor Society, and the Drama Club. And I'd like to thank our alternate, Johanna, for coming out to support us today, and Nikki Street, our president, and my co-captain, who was unable to be with us today. And that's the way to speak up so I can hear you without my earphone. Here's Mary Elizabeth Walter. Mary Elizabeth. Hi, I'm Mary Elizabeth. I'm a 16-year-old junior. And besides being the secretary of our academic club, I'm also involved in our drama, Latin, Irish, and Academy Clubs. Today I'd like to thank our wonderful coaches and administration for supporting us. Or take a look at the screen, Mount DeSales. Each correct answer is worth 20 points to you. We see Southern Fort Mount Heights Green Sumter. Using one word from each column, name what site where the opening shots of the Civil War were fired. Fort Sumter. That's good. Fort Sumter. That's right. Good. Sir and blanks. You can change this sir into what Egyptian god of the underworld, who was both the husband and brother of Isis. Isis. Well, I'm sorry, it's Osiris. I don't think we can give it to you. Osiris is the answer there. No points. Optics to pumpkin. 
you would take out this volume of an encyclopedia to learn about what ancient city destroyed in 79 AD by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. Pompeii. That's good. Storming the Bastille, Battle of Hastings, Berlin War, war Built, Wall Built. Here are three major events in European history. Arrange them in correct chronological order. One, three. Two, one, three. Hastings, Bastille, Berlin Wall, that's good. Donner, Khyber, Brenner Pass. If you were traveling from Afghanistan to Pakistan, you might well choose which of these historic routes. Khyber Pass. That's right. He presented to the world a front of silence. Historian Alan Nevins wrote these words about what American capitalist who founded Standard Oil. Rockefeller? That's good, Mount of Sales. 210 after you're part of the run. Hey! <laughs> All right, now we're in Ellicott City, Maryland, Howard County, to greet the young men here from Centennial High School, another winner in the first round, Michael Sweeney. Michael? I'm Michael Sweeney. I'm a 17-year-old junior, and I'd like to thank all of our friends and family for coming out to support us. Okay, Michael, and Mark Seifter. I'm Mark Seifter. I'm a 17-year-old senior, and I would like to thank our principal, Ms. Linda Middick, and our coach, Ms. Linda Blakesley, for coming out to support us today. Thank you, Mark. And Stephen McKay. I'm Stephen McKay, a 17-year-old senior, and I'd like, to, I'd like to thank our alternate, Ali Malik, and our other team members for coming out here to support us. All right, men, take a look at the screen. 20 points, each correct answer. James, Gouverneur, John, Hancock, Adams, Morris. Choose one name from each column. You identify what American patriot, the first to sign the Declaration of Independence. John Hancock. John Hancock is right. Blanks on TAU. Add the right letters here, and you can transform this Greek letter into what mythical bull-headed Greek monster. Minotaur. Minotaur, it's right. Aaron to Axe, this volume of the encyclopedia, would have information about what bloody Civil War battle fought in Maryland in 1862. Antietam. Say it again. Antietam. That's right. Michigan, Vermont, Montana, three states located on the U.S.-Canadian border. If you were traveling from east to west, you'd pass through them in what order? Vermont, Michigan, Montana. Correct. Mount Denali, Mount Kilimanjaro, K2. Which one of these lofty peaks is the second highest mountain in the world? K2. K2 is right. Morality is that which serves to destroy the old, exploiting society. This is a quotation from what man who founded a new, exploiting society as first head of the Soviet Union? No, Lenin. Lenin. That's it. So Centennial, good run, 260 after your party goes <laughs> Next winner in the first round is the team from Lock Raven in Baltimore County, Amanda Fryant. Amanda. Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm a 17-year-old senior at Lock Raven. Um, I'm a participant in the model government program, the vice president of the NHS, and a member of the tennis team. And I'd really like to thank all of our friends and family who have supported us throughout the season. Thank you, Amanda. You got Hi, uh, I'm Hugh Gann. I'm a 17-year-old senior, and uh, I'm president of Anime Club. I'm also a member of the tennis team, and uh, I participate in all-county and all-state cello events. And I would like to thank our alternate, Jason Rutherford, and uh, our principal, Keith Harmeyer, and uh, Mr. Volker and Ms. Webster for coming to support us today. What resumes? Doesn't that encourage you, the resumes these young people have? Here's Jenny Bragg. Jenny? Um, hello. I'm a 16-year-old junior and I'm involved in the Foreign Language, Math, and National Honor Societies in SAD, Princeton Model Congress, and the Clay Club. And I'd like to thank the Lock Raven cheerleaders for coming out to support us. All right, Lock Raven, take a look at the screen. Each correct answer is worth 20. We see first Rosetta, Tut, Sparrows, Tablet, Papyrus, Stone. Choose one word from each column. You name what ancient object that gave us the key to understanding Egyptian hieroglyphics. Rosetta Stone. Right. Blanks and dip. Dip into your knowledge of mythology here. You name what legendary Greek man who mistakenly married his mother. Oedipus. Oedipus is right. Lace to lymph. You look in this volume of an encyclopedia. To read about what Massachusetts town where the first battle of the Revolutionary War was fought. Lexington. Lexington, right. Fermi, Pasteur, Newton, three of the world's most famous scientists. Arrange them in correct chronological order. Uh. Three, two, one. Newton, Pasteur, Fermi is right. Strait of Magellan, Bering Strait, Strait of Malacca. Which one of these waterways is located in South America? Strait of Magellan. Correct. Stars and stripes nailed to the pole. On September 5th, 1909, this telegraph message was sent by what American explorer who, together with Matthew Henson, had just journeyed to the North Pole region? Have that? Robert Peary, the man there. So Lock Raven 210 and the end of the round.
Over the years, Comcast has invested in innovative programs to enhance the educational experience of students from kindergarten through college. In the Maryland-Delaware region, Comcast offers free cable and high-speed internet modems to K-12 schools. In addition, Comcast and the Comcast Foundation will be awarding over $100,000 in scholarships to public, private, and parochial high school students in Maryland during this school year. Its academic teams compete for more than glory. Today, because this is a playoff match, Giant and Comcast will provide $1,200 in scholarship money, with the winning school receiving $500 and each of the other schools $350. By the end of the season, Comcast and Giant will have provided over $100,000 to our schools. And over the years, over $2 million in scholarship money has been given to teams competing on its academic. Giant Food and Comcast do not select the individual scholarship recipients, but leave that choice and the administration of the funds to the school. Thank you very much. Now, before we get to the visual round, let's do the score update. Mount of Sales in Catonsville has 210. Centennial, Ellicott City, 260. Lock Raven, Baltimore County, 210. There we are. <laughs> visual round. Now, each correct answer worth 10. Cut off for a wrong answer. And the team whose light is up there first has a chance to answer. Let's take a look now at number one. Here it is. Among the flowers you see here is what blossom named for the mythical Greek youth who fell in love with him? All right, Centennial. Narcissus. That's right. If you look closely at this painting, you can see the mining of gold, which was earlier discovered in 1848 at what California? Sutter's Mill. Sutter's Mill is right. This quilt pattern is given what two-word name, identifying the humble wooden home of young Abe Lincoln? Centennial. Okay. Log cabin. Right. Taking all roots to be positive, evaluate this expression, giving your answer as an integer. Centennial. Five root two. Twelve is the answer there, so ten down. The second deepest lake in the country, this is what Oregon Lake got its... All right, Monta Sales. Crater Lake. Crater Lake is right, though her hair looks normal here. This is a 6th century B.C. depiction of what mythical monster who was famous... Centennial. Medusa. Right. Twice a day, you can see the figures dance around this old clock. And what German city... Centennial. Munich. That's right. Good. This is the formula for what alkaline compound used as an antacid? Centennial. Magnesium hydroxide. That's exactly right. The sun is rising over what island group that the United States purchased from... All right, uh, Locker even. Hawaii. Right. From Denmark in 1917, the Virgin Islands, so 10 down. Reaching the Kaaba, the black building in the center here, is the goal of Muslims who make a pilgrimage to what sacred city? Centennial. That's it, and there's the end of the round. At Giant, fresh ideas rise to the occasion. They're tossed in Old Bay and meet your satisfaction. Fresh ideas and great values happen every day at Giant. Delizioso, robusto. E quando è sulla graticola giusto per te, i sapori diventano a... a... All squished together, il panini. Bravo, Giant. Don't crawl through the net. Fly with Comcast High Speed Internet. It's as quick as a click. Find more of the information you want faster. Shopping, travel, music, homework. Comcast High Speed Internet. It's more than just speed. It's getting more of what you want out of the Internet. Try doing all this with Darwin. Call now and get your first 30 days free, plus a free self-install kit and free McAfee personal firewall protection. Don't crawl through the net with dial-up. Fly with Comcast High Speed Internet. our faculty coaches and administrators as we update the score. The team from Mount to Sales in Cadenceville has a score of 220. Angela, please introduce our guest. On my right is our its academic coach, Ms. Altos, who is also a Latin teacher. Behind me is Sister Mary Reginald, our headmistress. 
And on my left is Dr. PB, our assistant coach and my greatest genetics teacher ever. All right, you get an A for that, Angela. Very good. <laughs> Thank you, ladies, for being with us. A team from Centennial in Ellicott City, Howard County, has the lead at 320. Mark, please do the honors. To the right is our coach, Miss Linda Blakesley, and to my left is our principal, Miss Linda Minnick. Thank you, ladies, for being with us. Lock Raven in Baltimore County is up next, and uh, you take it away. Uh, to my right is our coach, Mr. Barron, and to my left is our principal, Mr. Harmeyer. Thank you, gentlemen, for being with us. Mr. Harmeyer has been with us for at least a quarter century in the program. Thank you all for being with us. Now moving on to the next round. Each correct answer again with 20. See the light above the team's score. If they're on in a row like that, that'll show eight questions in a row answered correctly. It's good for 25-point bonus. Uh, Mount to sales, you're up. So, Mark, uh, please select from Centennial. Go ahead. One, two, or three. Two. All right, here you are. Claire Angela, Mary Elizabeth, here you are. Researchers say that if you have recently eaten bananas, you will be more likely to attract what insects whose dangerous varieties can cause malaria? Mosquito. Right. In Whitehall, Montana, there are caverns named for what pair of explorers who charted the Louisiana Territory from 1803 to 1806? Lewis and Clark. Well, only 200 years ago, they were right out there on the trail. That is right. Some books are required reading in schools, but Ann Patchett's novel, Bel Canto, was selected as the official reading for what city, capital of Wisconsin? Madison. Right. On the monitor, we see eight, six, and four. The number of protons in the nucleus of oxygen 17 is eight, six, or four? Eight. Right. Gas now costs less than 30 cents a gallon. And what oil producing South American country whose capital is Caracas? Nicaragua? Venezuela, the answer there. It takes more than a driver's license to avoid trouble in a horror story called From a Buick 8 by what writer who also wrote about a car named Christine? Stephen King. He's the man on the monitor. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. 40. Right. Mount Everest was first climbed in 1953, but it would be five more years before anyone scaled El Capitan in what California National Park? Yosemite. That's right. Said seven out of eight. Good job, Mount the Sales 360. <laughs> Centennial has the turn now for a bonus, so Lock Ravens. So like you, which one now? One. Number one. Here are Michael, Mark, and uh, Stephen ready to go in this round. Because of a severe nursing shortage, U.S. hospitals are hiring nurses from other countries, especially from what nation whose capital is Manila? Philippines. Philippines. Right. Frederick Douglass became the star of the abolitionist movement as the publisher of the anti-slavery newspaper named for what star, also called Polaris? The North Star. Right. The first U.S. warship to have an airplane take off from its deck was what pre-World War I vessel named for the largest city in Alabama? Birmingham. Right. On the monitor. Increase, decrease, stay the same. Although the mass of a spacecraft remains constant, its weight will do which of these as the spacecraft travels farther away from the Earth? Decrease. Right. Naming their American settlement for their old home in Europe, Dutch pioneers gave what name to the 17th century colony that later became New York? New Amsterdam. Right. Though his last name means barrel maker, what early American was actually a novel maker, Cooper, wrote the last of the Mohicans. Good. The monitor. If X equals 6, what's the value of Y? 25. Right. Archaeologists speculated that a gold bar found in Mexico City in the 1980s might be treasure seized by Cortez from what Aztec emperor? The Montezuma. Montezuma. A bonus for Centennial! Yes! <laughs> a power move! I'm telling you right through there for all eight in a row for 505 and leaving Package number three here for the team from Lock Raven in Baltimore County. All right, Lock Raven. Although the early U.S. Vice President George Dallas has a Texas City name for him, he was actually born in what eastern city of brotherly love? Philadelphia. Right. In a move that will greatly enhance food availability, China announced it will make freely available its research on mapping the genome of what staple crop grown throughout Asia. Rice. Right. In a 1953 movie titled Abbott and Costello Go to Mars, the two comedians supposedly wind up on what other planet, the one nearest the Earth? 
Venus. Yes, on the monitor, latent heat of fusion, velocity, mass density. Which of these is a vector quantity? Velocity. Right. A British soldier fighting with Cornwallis in the Revolutionary War might have included in his diary the news of Cornwallis' surrender in what Virginia town? Jamestown. Yorktown. Sorry, no points there. What horse supposedly told his life story to Anna Sewell, who recorded it in the sentimental children's classic named for the horse? Black Beauty. Right. The monitor, find the area of this isosceles right triangle. 18. Right. The price was 10 million when the U.S. made what 1853 land purchase, in which we bought 30,000 square miles of land from Mexico. Gadsden. That's right, and 340 for Lock Raven, the end of the round. Okay, I have that, but what is it that Mom puts in there? Oh, no, I don't think I have any. Nope. Uh, hey there, a little help here, please? <laughs> yeah, the boys are off from school today. And Mike's parents are coming in tonight. It's only for a couple of days, but I have a lot to do before they get here. Can I drink all the milk? Not all of it. Good thing we've got free milk. We're your giant. Okay, before we go on to the grab bag free for all round, here's the score update. Mount to Sales in Catonsville, 360. Centennial, Ellicott City, the lead at 505. Lock Raven, Baltimore County, 340. <laughs> all right, now it's time for the free for all grab bag round where teams can make a move, all right? 20 points up for a right answer, 20 off for a wrong answer. 30 points up or down for the visual questions and the team whose light is up there first has a chance. A North Carolina logger was recently fined $95,000 when his firm cut down a tree that was a nesting place for what national bird? <laughs> Centennial. Bald eagle. Right. Hideki Matsui, one of Japan's leading baseball players, has signed a 21 <laughs> Centennial. New York Yankees. With the Yankees and the Bronx is right. Yankees is what we were going for. In Coleridge, Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, the guilty sailor had to wear a Centennial. Albatross. Around his neck is right. The monitor, here's a 30-pointer. This priceless fresco is one of the treasures of the Rila Monastery, located in what European country, south of Romania, north of Greece? Any takers? Bulgaria? That's right, 30 points. What singer's rendition of Don't Know Why won her a Grammy Lock Raven? Nora Jones. Right. According to a recent study, the average American uses how many gallons of water a day, equal to 400 pints? So, 100, 100 gallons. 50 gallons, so 20 down. The one point on the globe where both latitude and longitude are at zero is a point along the equator off the west coast of what's second largest continent? Black Raven. Answer? Africa. Africa is right. Sao Tome is the nearest country there. Uh, on the monitor, 30 pointer. From my earliest years, I have respected the great. This very respectful statement comes from what 18th century British writer whose biography of Samuel Johnson made them both continue. Boswell. That's right, 30 points. President Franklin Pierce was criticized for his failure to deal with the slavery issue in what territory? Described as bleeding. Continue. Kansas. Kansas, that's right. Choice. What is the, ac the oxidation number of the phosphorus in phosphoric acid? Is it plus one, plus three, plus five? Not the sales. Plus three. Plus five is the answer there, 20 down. What character in E.B. White's Charlotte's Web has the name of a non-flowering pteridophyte that reproduces by spores rather than seeds? Uh, long way around for a fern, the answer there. Uh, now on the screen. This is a 16th century portrait of Leonardo Loredano, who held what position as the chief magistrate of the Republic of Venice? Continue. Doge? Doge is right, 30 points. The mid-February blizzard set a modern record when it dropped over 27 inches of snow on Logan Airport in what city? Centennial. Boston. Right. Abraham Lincoln fought in the Black Hawk War as a young man, emerging with what army rank today signified by two silver bars? Montessor. Sergeant. I'm sorry, that is Captain, and there's the end of the game!
Okay, I have that, but what is it that Mom puts in there? Oh, no. I don't think I have any. Nope. Uh, hey there, a little help here, please? <laughs> yeah, the boys are off from school today. And Mike's parents are coming in tonight. It's only for a couple of days, but I, I have a lot to do before they get here. Can I drink all the milk? Not all of it. Good thing we've got free milk. We're your giant. Don't crawl through the net. Fly with Comcast High Speed Internet. It's as quick as a click. Find more of the information you want faster. Shopping, travel, music, homework. Comcast High Speed Internet. It's more than just speed. It's getting more of what you want out of the internet. Try doing all this with Darwin. Call now and get your first 30 days free, plus a free self-install kit and free McAfee personal firewall protection. Don't crawl through the net with dial-up. Fly with Comcast High Speed Internet. Scores on a our official so let's proceed with today's awards. Our thanks first go to the young women from Mount the Sales in Catonsville. <laughs> Score of 320. The award from Comcast and Giant for $350. Thank you, Claire, Angela, and Mary Elizabeth for being with us today. And our next award goes to the team from Lock Raven High School. Baltimore Pan. Score of 380 and Giant and Comcast send them a $350 award. Thank you, and uh, you and Jenny for being with us. Here's our winning team and winning score. Ellicott City, Howard County, Maryland. 675 big score, Centennial High. <laughs> this time the award from Comcast and Giant. It's for $500. It means Michael, Mark, and Steven return in the next round, the semifinal round. That's a round of nine teams to face uh, two other playoff winners. Next week, we have another playoff match. Howard, Bennett from uh, Salisbury, Maryland, and Spalding. So please be with us next week at this time. And next week, we wish you all a very happy Passover coming up. I'm Mac McGarry. Thank you, parents and teachers. Now, come on up here. Come on. It's Academic with Mac McGarry. It's Academic. Brought to you by Giant Food. Giant. Fresh ideas, great values. That's Giant. And by Comcast. Connecting people to what's important in their lives. live coverage you can depend on. When a big story breaks, we're all over it. Live on the ground, live in the air, whatever it takes to put you on the scene. It's more than just a telephone. It